I ask the Senator Cruz will be recorded as no, as will Senator Paul. Uh, now let me turn, I see Senator Portman's not with us at this moment, so let me turn to Senator Paul. This bill has been devised as a way to counter China by spending government funds uh, through the National Science Foundation, about $10 billion a year. I think it's important before we add $10 billion a year to the National Science Foundation, this will be Paul Amendment 2, that uh, we look a little bit of how successful they've been. We haven't authorized them in years, but we just keep funding them. They currently spend about $8 billion, so this would more than double their budget. Government, as we all know, lacks the profit motive and is inherently less efficient than the marketplace. Congress has doled out money again and again to the National Science Foundation only to see the money wasted decade after decade. There's no evidence that it will be any different this time. In 1975, the conservative Democrat William Proxmire criticized the NSF for spending $84,000 to try to find out why people fall in love. Now, 45 years later, the NSF is still spending money, $585,000 to be exact, to find out how people fall in love, We're studying online dating habits. The late Senator Coburn similarly criticized the NSF for wasting money. I'm sure we've all heard of the infamous shrimp on a treadmill, the nearly $700,000 project to run a shrimp on an underwater treadmill. That's not all. $700,000 in money that was to be spent on autism research was subgranted to study whether Neil Armstrong, when he stepped on the moon, said, one small step for man or one small step for a man. That was $700,000 worth of autism research. This is the group you're wanting to give the money to. In the end, they listened to the tape over and over, the crackly tape from the moon, and they couldn't decide. So what does that have to do with China? Well, some in Congress want to pour tens of billions more into this very agency, the National Science Foundation, putting it not only in charge of science, but technology research as well. How well will the money be spent? Let's look at what they did with the money they already have. $1.5 million to study how to improve how tomatoes taste. Researchers determined that adding sugar would help. What about 188000 to study why Americans won't use the metric system? $30,000 to study gambling habits in Uganda. And $500,000 to study if you take a selfie of yourself while smiling and look at it later in the day whether that will make you happy. Unless studying selfies is somehow a deterrent to China, what Congress is doing with this new effort is supercharging the next generation of government waste. If you're unwilling to fix the waste that currently exists in the National Science Foundation, there's no expectation they're going to do better this time. Increasing dollar amounts and expanding mandates is not the answer. We need government accountability to unleash private investment and to get Congress out of these funding decisions. Otherwise, we'll just keep borrowing money from China, hoping that the debt to them will stop their rising influence. Hardly a recipe for success. My amendment would attempt to pay for the $10 billion a year by looking at uh, foreign aid. We spend about $30 billion in foreign aid. Mine would uh, cut $10 billion a year with an exemption for Israel, and this would be a way that if you really do believe this is uh, the way to combat China, that it actually would be a bill that is paid for. This is in recognition that our deficit last year was $4 trillion. This year will be over $3 trillion. And we have an institutional deficit every year of about a trillion just from ongoing mandatory spending. So I think the responsible thing to do here is to vote for some sort of pay for, and that's what this is intended as. And I'd like a recorded vote, please. The gentleman asked for a recorded vote. Uh, other members? Senator Rich. Yeah, M- Mr. Chairman, I, first of all, I don't disagree with those outrageous uh, examples that uh, Senator Paul has given. Uh, certainly, we need a whole lot more oversight into those kinds of things. But... Um, we're, we're, 